Thank you. At what age a child is typically diagnosed with neurodiversity? The earliest age that a physician or a psychologist would probably reliably diagnose a child with autism would be around the age of three. And uh, although there are signals earlier than that, markers that we could we can observe that say this might be a child who could be um, developing autism a little later. Let's watch and see to make sure that if they are, we can provide them services as early as possible. So three years old, though, is generally right now about the earliest age. Now, the average age of diagnosis in the United States, at least, and this is reasonably consistent around the world, is about five years old. Mm -hmm. um, the average age of diagnosis for ADHD in the United States is seven years old. And so if you think about that, it's interesting. We can reliably diagnose it at a younger age. And yet on average, we're diagnosing it at age five and age seven. What happens around that time? Children go to school. And so what we think um, about that is that there are a lot of issues that may get flagged at school, right? There could be some learning gaps that start to develop. There could be some behavioral problems that start to emerge. And so you start to see that when the child's placed in that environment, and therefore there's an increase in the diagnoses at those ages. Now there's another period that's common for first diagnosis, and that is around puberty. So in the middle school years, and there's a theory around that, that maybe the child had some issues earlier in life, but didn't really qualify for an autism diagnosis, but then all of the physiological changes and social pressures and cognitive changes that happen around middle school now put them into a category where they do qualify for a diagnosis. And that's called the double hit theory of autism. So there is some body of research out there on that. But then there's, there's another set of speculations around maybe, but maybe the child might have qualified at an earlier age, but the diagnosis was missed for some reason. Um, mm -hmm. Girls, for example, are uh, very good at masking, much better at this process of behaving in a neurotypical, socially acceptable way. Um, and so girls, the part of the theory is that girls may be getting missed because they're better at masking and that the testing that we do for autism may not be sensitive enough to catch kids who may be doing that. Um, so there's a number of different reasons why some diagnoses may come later, but the first age is three, average around five, and then there's another kind of peak around puberty. And after the diagnosis, when is the best time for a family to reach out to you and for your services? Straight away or even before the diagnosis, because it's a process when to go through the diagnosis. And so we've got coaches that have been through the process themselves as parents, and that can be very supportive. We have a group um, coaching program actually called Walk With Me that is a parent group. And it is for families who are either pursuing a diagnosis or maybe have received one fairly reasonable or recently rather, and are trying to just get their arms around everything that they need to know. And the sooner that you reach out, the better. There's support there and that can be helpful.